What's up, y'all? Welcome to this week's show. This week we're going to be following Montana and Matt for a little mid-season archery action down here in South Georgia. We're going to share some of their misfortunes and some of their success. Y'all see what happens. This is third weekend in September. Uh, Friday the 27th, we've been getting some pictures of a good buck. He came yesterday evening and Wednesday evening. We're going to try to get on him today, see if we can get it done. Y'all stay tuned. Southern Addiction TV will be right back. Whether your interest is in hunting, sport shooting, or simply in home defense, Full Metal Jacket is the place to shop. We offer a huge selection of firearms, ammunition, hunting and tactical accessories, as well as custom gunsmithing and repair. 
We are located at 18 New Airport Road in LaGrange, Georgia, or visit us online at www.fmjarmory.com. This segment is brought to you by Flatiron Arms. Like us on Facebook or visit us at www.flatironarms.com. a long shot. He was about to leave. Holy cow. Holy He was big. See the knock. Did it light up? Yeah, it's a knock. Alright, let's just hang tight. Alright guys, we just got out of the stand. Um, we went check and see if we hit the deer. I hit the deer. Um, it was a clean miss. Clean miss. 51 yards of range found him. Um, we had does on us all, all the time since we sat down to the time we left. 
I mean, we watched them right, you know, we came out right before dark, you know, it was almost too dark to shoot, you know, the camera was barely picking up. This is the second time I've seen him in four days. Got good you had pictures. to give it a shot. Oh, yeah. Got pictures of him since June. Yep. Good deer, good deer. You see him almost every day on camera, right? Every minute almost. Good grief. I mean, I guess everyone's kind of gone through this, you know, it's, it, you know, it just sucks. I mean, it to sucks. say the least. It sucks. Uh, but it happens to everybody, and that's kind of why we want to show y'all that. Uh, a deer that quaddled and <laughs> watching him run off, it isn't fun. Uh-uh. But the good thing is, you know, it happened during bow season, happened right at dark. Just heard know. a noise, didn't actually know what, what the noise was or seen it. So. Right, so, I mean, he, he may have been a little bit spooked, but he'll be back in there. Hopefully so. We checked the cameras this weekend, and we'll try again. Yep, that's what we'll have to do. You know, sometimes you've been following a deer and, and watching him for so long. Uh, poor Montana has been on that deer for, I don't know, since the beginning of the season. Three weeks. And, yeah, and, you know, he's he's had the, the deer on camera uh, here for a while. He's been real excited. Me and him had a, a – I filmed for him here, you know, a couple of weeks back and had a close encounter with him. And uh, him and him and Matt didn't, didn't seal the deal. But it didn't pan out, um, as you guys seen. You know, those big bucks, they just appear out of nowhere, and they're smart. That's why they get big. So, low light situation, it was either then or never. Montana took the shot, and unfortunately, um, the arrow just didn't go where it needed to go. So, I say we were going to switch gears here and, and go to another hunt, but I don't know. I think we're still stuck in first gear with this one here. This is Matt. Uh, Y'all watch and, and see how his, his day went. Southern Addiction TV is brought to you in part by Hothead Wraps. Like us on Facebook or visit us online at www.hotheadwraps.com. Service Center, located at 41 Ridgeway Road, Waverly Hall, Georgia. Preferred Homes, proudly serving Columbus for over 20 years, and a preferred dealer of Live Oak, Clayton, and Fleetwood Homes in Scottville. Preferred Homes offers a large selection of beautiful floor plans with exciting features you won't believe. With interest rates lower than we've seen in years, it is the perfect time to let Preferred Homes put you and your family in a home you'll love with payments you can definitely afford. Hello, I'm Jerry Phillips. I've been serving this area since 1984. Come see us at Preferred Homes. Southeast Wildlife is who you need to call when those unwanted friends show up, like bats and squirrels. Licensed by the DNR, they are certified and qualified to remove them and prevent their return. They also welcome the removal of snakes, raccoons, armadillos, bees, and much more. Insulation removal and replacement are provided when needed. A rated by the Better Business Bureau and available 24 hours a day, Southeast Wildlife wants to serve you. Check us out on Facebook at Southeast Wildlife LLC. This segment of Southern Addiction TV brought to you by Greens Propane. Like us on Facebook or visit us at www.greenspropane.com.
we just shot a doe at 42 yards. It wasn't a good shot. She walked off and then came back, and I finally got a shot off at her. And I thought she had stopped when I shot and let go and hit her further back than I would like to have. It sounds like she went down over there, but we're going to give her a little bit of time. We'll hang out here, we'll try and do a little doe management. We may switch up with Garrett, see if we can bust another doe. Alright, we just got back to the truck a second ago. We're going to give that doe a little bit longer. I mean, it wasn't a good shot. She was hit hard, though. It knocked her down, I and mean, when we found good blood right where she went in the woods at, but we're still going to wait a little bit longer. We don't want to jump her or nothing. We want to let things do its thing. So, but we seen a bunch of deer this morning. Yeah. Alright, well we're gonna get changed and we're gonna head back in. We'll get it after another one this afternoon, but well, we're gonna find this one first. A little walking in and get warmed up. <laughs> Let's do it. Alright, it's been about two hours. We just got back where I took the shot. She went in right here. There's good blood right here. I got a feeling we're still gonna have to track her. It wasn't a good shot. Um, but we're gonna get going in. I got some flagging tape, so we're gonna flag some spots as we go in. In case we have to backtrack to where we found blood last. But we're gonna get in there and see what we can find. Oh, we got a little blood right through here. Coming in. There's a spot there on the leaf. We got a lot of blood right through here. We went in, so it's looking a little better. Hey, there's my arrow right there. Dang. Good blood all over it. But it don't look like that expandable open. That ain't good. Dang. That O just did find its mark. Unfortunately, as bow hunters, factors of Mother Nature, things happen. Uh, that deer took a couple steps forward, and Matt was already committed to shoot. He took the shot, hit the deer a little far back, and it's something we all hate as bow hunters, but. Him and Garrett, they, they did a real good job looking for that deer all day Saturday, and uh, unfortunately, they just didn't come up with it. That was Saturday morning, and uh, Sunday afternoon, they, they stayed at the property all day, again, looked for the deer, and uh, went ahead and got back at it Sunday afternoon. So, y'all watch, and uh, let's see if the luck changes a little bit. We need it. You're very good at Yeah. <laughs> he took my seat apart. <laughs> Bring the stand to me. Tuck a lady out of it. Nice pillow you got there. Thank you, sir. Mm. Come on now. Hey, man. Your bed ain't comfortable. <laughs> I guess that's what I get for getting in your bed, huh? <laughs> yeah. Stay out of my bed, please. Mm, what happens when you come home there's another guy in your bed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, it's September 29th. Me and Garrett hunted this morning. Um, made a, I made a bad shot on a doe. You know, the broadhead didn't open up. You know, we thought we were going to find her. You know, it's just part of hunting. You know, I hate that it happened. You know, but more than likely she's probably going to live. But we fix to get back in the woods and see if we can't get another one this afternoon. You know, we got way too many does. So we fix to get after one and see what happens.
Bruce, owner of Masters Taxidermy, recognizes the effort put into harvesting that once-in-a-lifetime trophy and looks forward to mounting it for you. Need it processed? No problem. Bruce works hand-in-hand -hand with Daffod's Meat Processing. Master Taxidermy, a Reader's Choice Award winner, has 33 years of experience and can help you preserve it all, specializing in deer, fish, and ducks. One stop, that's all, Bruce says. Thanks, Columbus, for your support, and we'll be seeing you. From custom-built exhaust to automotive repair, AC service to custom accessories, Wolf Auto Works is the only place your car wants to be. High-tech equipment, quality technicians, and friendly service will make it the only place you'll ever want to go. We have the largest variety of exhaust tips in the area. Come visit us at Wolf Auto Works, 1512 Veterans Parkway. Look at that. What a beauty. Yeah, baby. How it opened. That thing is covered. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's too well, it went on through her, so. Well, we just whacked this big old doe. Uh, she wasn't but about 30 yards. She came in this food plot. Uh, there was two other does with her, and we seen two fawns. They were all over us. They've been over all over us all evening. Uh, she finally got within range. We had a couple come by too close. It kept kind of looking our way, so we couldn't get a shot at them. Um, we've been trying to thin the herd. We seen about 15 deer and between does and yearlings this morning. So uh, we really got to thin out the herd some, but. We're happy to have this one. We're fixing to get her cleaned up and head on to the house. And a long week ahead of us. Well, things turned out a little bit different for uh, good old Matt. It's about time. <laughs> yeah, as a really good way to end the, up a really screwed up weekend of hunting. Uh, you know, they weren't the only ones that had bad luck. I missed one, and uh, I think of, I think there was a couple other screw ups within the group. But anyway, it happens. He got the deer. Uh, found it 60 yards so it wasn't much trailing you know put a good shot on it which obviously is super important and as you guys know us here at Southern Addiction TV we're diehard bow hunters so whether we're out taking a 140 inch buck or just a small doe any deer harvested with a bow is definitely a trophy and something we just love to do absolutely check us out on Facebook at Southern Addiction TV or, or www.addictionhunting.com Y'all stay tuned. We ho hopefully have a lot more stick and string action coming up. Yep. See you guys next week.